<laughs> you can't keep getting away with this. He can't keep getting away with it. What is up, guys? This is your boy CPU Simmer. And today, I have some more information regarding The Sims 4. If you guys like news, updates, discussions, let's please, please hit the sub button. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. I greatly appreciate it. I also do have an affiliate link with Instant Gaming to get you guys cheaper Sims deals. If you guys click the link in the description, type in Sims 4, there'll be a bunch of sales. Um, I do get a small commission, so yeah, please take advantage of that. And again, thank you. And lastly, I will be streaming on Twitch this Thursday, 6 p.m. EST. So that would be 3 p.m. Uh, specific standard time. I appreciate if you guys would come through. I don't need everybody to come through, just a few. Uh, and my Twitch will be in the link in the description. But yeah, without further ado, let's get to the video. So starting off, the Sims Direct did post on Twitter that there is a game update today. Um, it's going to be including painted ceilings, color swatches for walls, floors, fences, and doors, with new hairs, and some bug fixes too. I'll have the link in the description if you guys want to go through all the bugs and fixes. Um, this is just a list of them here. Now, unfortunately, there wasn't any updates on the console control fixes. There was like an update for console, but it had nothing to do with the actual control fixes themselves. It still has been crickets um yeah i'm sorry i don't know why i did that you would think by now they would fix it just because we are getting a new pack in two days knowing the situation with console you would think that they would try and fix it before then but no no word nothing so yeah it's just another long list of just bs issues with this game unfortunately um but yeah i will obviously keep you guys updated if they do say anything and you know i'm sorry that you guys are gonna be having a rough time so a lot of people are very concerned just because we haven't gotten any early access i was still confused after the live stream because usually once they're done the live they jump on twitter they start doing q a's and start giving us a bunch more information with growing together it was really really crazy because right after the stream was done they were just giving us non-stop information um there was a lot of hype behind that pack but with this horse ranch uh horse shit pack there hasn't been any type of information there's been like one few things with like lot sizes and horse shit concept art but that's pretty much it that's what i've seen so far so a lot of people are kind of confused why we haven't seen any early access footage uh, one of the reasons could be that there just isn't any early access footage because this game is bare bones to me it feels kind of strange that um you know they still haven't really hyped up this pack this is by far the weakest launch i've ever seen like it's been very very quiet um and that's not usually like this i do feel like this pack was just uh you know scraps being put together and they just needed something to give us um again i feel like they're just trying to stay relevant because life by you is coming um you know and i don't know it just to me feels like this was rushed and this definitely needed more time in the oven but you know it is what it is um if you guys are excited for this pack let me know um i hope you guys do have fun for what it's worth but you know i don't think it's worth that much because yeah this pack is definitely not it now there was another broken feature with growing together surprise surprise uh shout out to the hefford hen there was an issue if you put your photos in the keepsake box they would like end up being just completely black and nothing's wrong with black but obviously you want your photos to look good now magnetic our principal designer for the sims 4 has confirmed that they did fix that issue but it's not coming with this patch update it will be in a later one so it's technically delayed which i know a lot of people are kind of obviously upset about and this is the keepsake box right this is supposed to help with your uh generation gameplay like it's supposed to have those for uh sim years to come and them being corrupted and turning black is obviously not the vibe so i don't know that's just again another stupid feature with this growth together pack like i love growing together i don't know if i say this a lot in my videos i think growing together was a really good pack um i wasn't sims 3 generations before the sims 4 it was a really good pack but there are so many issues with this thing bro i don't understand why this pack is, is so broken again shout out to the head for hen we finally have confirmation if unicorns are coming to the sims 4 horse ranch so one of the sim gurus named sim guru george he was on the live stream for the horse ranch pack he actually has a tiktok account he responded to one of the players asking if unicorns were in the pack and he said there's a unicorn horn but it's not a new occult so we finally have confirmation that unicorns are not coming to the sims 4 horse ranch this is just another um long list of bad news when it comes to this pack unfortunately and i feel like unicorns could have definitely of uh, pushed its sales and make it a lot more advertising to buy because right now there isn't in this pack that screams like oh my god like this is a game changing feature you need it now like there's nothing in this pack that does that now here's the issue with this whole unicorn thing right 
Um, before I even get into my thoughts and opinions, uh, shout out to Somatically. He said the argument that unicorns don't fit the ranch drive so they don't belong in the pack is a pure example of how EA has it these days. And I agree with that. That's why it's in the video, because I agree. And a lot of people responded to the unicorn tweet that Hand made. And a lot of people were kind of agreeing with the fact that unicorn shouldn't be in the game while other people were either just kind of upset or confused. Um, Here's my take on this real quick, because I know I can ramble like a lot. I don't understand why people are so just happy with stuff being cut up in this game like people are like oh well that's fine because we'll get it with a fairies pack and then other people are saying well unicorns are a mythical thing and you know they don't really work with the whole uh native american culture it's like basically two things conflicting like it wouldn't work in a pack like this it's the sims like you know what i mean like we have aliens we have vampires we have werewolves like they can make it work um i understand both points though i'm not saying that it's a, it's a dumb perspective or a dumb point like i get that but i feel like what somatically was saying it, it's like now we're just kind of enabling them to this like f us over even more because now we have to pay for unicorns and fairies the whole argument of well i want it to be its own pack so it can get more detail is getting old bro this this game is just milking players and people are okay with it because of that argument alone it makes no sense to me please comment down below your thoughts and opinions on this like i understand both point of views because yes if they're trying to respect the uh, other cultures in the pack like if they make a pack with other cultures and another culture is clashing with that i understand it don't get me wrong but at the same time the native american culture is not really present in this pack we're getting some base game hairstyles which is cool and you know we're getting some new foods but it's like it's not enough now on youtube the sims posted a poll um asking what players were most excited for with the horse ranch pack um i voted nectar making because that's what i've been excited for i've been very vocal on that with the videos but i found it funny that there was a spawn to this uh voting thing people commented and it was just people kind of dragging them you know people saying oh i'm gonna wait for a discount um you know i'm more excited for like the console controls which need to be fixed by the way um, so yeah, I just found that funny. I just wanted to put that in there because people were not having with them. Uh, very, very funny stuff. Well, with that being said, that's all the information for today. If you made it to the end of this video, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching. This has been your boy, Peter Simmer. Stay cool, stay awesome, stay simming, and have a good day.